Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to do grade 8 and this is module 3 and this is the third session which is the final session. Uh, so for this module the chapters are the emperor's new clothes which is a prose and the poetry is machines. Uh, to start off for the opening we are going to give students a handout. So there will be 4 to 5 groups in the class and you are going to give every group a handout. And this has just different sentences on it and the sentences have a, a mistake in it. So it can be a spelling mistake, a factual error or different uh, mistakes in these sentences. The facilitator has to uh, tell the different mistakes that are there in the handout. So for example, if there are spelling mistakes, the facilitator will say uh, spot all the spelling mistakes. So all the students in the group will have to uh, read the sentence and identify all the spelling mistakes that are there in the sentences. Then the facilitator can say factual errors. So if there are any errors like the story, if we have written the story in the wrong way, then the students have to identify what is the factual error and they have to rectify it. So there will be three uh, categories for the mistakes. Uh, one is spelling mistakes, the second is factual error, the third one is articles that are missing. So A, AND and THE. So these are the three articles. So if these articles are mis uh, missing, the facilitator will have to say uh, spot all the articles that are missing and the children have to go read the sentences and identify uh, the missing articles. So for this, uh, for example, for article missing is be uh, once upon time. So the students have to say once upon a time because there is an article A in the sentence which is missing and the students will have to identify it and mark it in their handout. So this is going to be the opening uh, for the session. Uh, now we move to the main creation. For the main creation, there will be uh, again there will be divided into four groups. You can continue with the same groups. Uh, now the students are going to read out a paragraph. Okay, this paragraph will be from the story itself. Okay, so once they read out the paragraph, uh, it will be it'll just be like few lines. The entire story won't be there. So after they read it out, uh, the students are going to come together in their group and they are going to form dialogues uh, as a continuation to the paragraph that they have received. So all the teams will be doing this. Uh, they form dialogues. They have like a proper ending to the story. And then what they do is they will take turns and they are going to come up front and they are going to enact the entire uh, scene that they have prepared. So this is going to be the main creation where the students are coming out, with they are creating stories and they are going to enact the story to the other students as well. And our third game, uh, sorry, the second game for the main creation is Hangman. Uh, so this some of you would have already done Hangman. Uh, so we are going to do a quick demo of the game Hangman. Uh, so we have uh, Asha and uh, Manasa who is going to help us with this game. Okay. Okay, so just imagine, you guys can come. Okay, so just imagine that these are the students in your class uh, and you have different words that are given to you. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw a pillar on the board. Okay, this is like just a stand or a pillar. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell the students that they have to guess the right word. Okay, so for example, we are going to say the first word is machines. Now you don't tell the students that this is the word okay so you you know that the word is machines so you just draw blanks that they're going to fill okay so this is blanks for the word machines uh, now what you're now you're going to tell the students to start guessing the letters so let's assume that they are going to be students and they don't know the word uh, so you guys can start uh, guessing different letters that is going to come here okay okay yes okay v no, so there's no V in machine. So what you do is you start drawing a man. Okay. So first one mistake they said is V. There is no V in the uh, word machine. So we write it here and we start drawing the person. So next letter. B. Again there is no B. Uh, so you write B here and you start to draw the, the body of the person. C. Okay, there is a C. W. Okay, there's no W again. So there's like the leg. Yeah. Okay. J. Okay, there is no J. Yes. You already said oh, yes. yes. So yeah. H. Okay, there is H. D. There is no D. So you see, one by one, they're losing all the chances that they have to fill the word. Okay. Yeah. I. Okay, there is I. O. Okay, there is no O again. X. No X. So now they have only three more chance because they have to draw the face and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, T. No T. E. Okay. 
last V. Okay, there's no V again, so that's the last chance. Now you draw the person and now he is hung. Okay, so basically once the man is hung and he is dead, you don't get any more chances. So the student has not uh, guessed the correct word. Now you can just tell them the answer that this is machines. So if the whole uh, the person is not drawn and before that they are able to guess the entire word, then they win the game. So thank you guys for helping us. <laughs> uh, so I hope that is clear. Uh, so basically you have to ask the student, encourage them to guess the entire word. Okay. Uh, so sometimes if it's a long word, maybe you can uh, just keep giving a little bit of clues like this is from the chapter, the naval chapter, but not very specific clues, but general clues to help them guess the word. Uh, so this is going to be the game, uh, the second part of the main creation, this is the game Hangman. Uh, now finally for the closure, what we're going to do is this is the third session. Uh, so we're going to ask them to reflect upon the session, uh, recollect the stories uh, and the poem machines. Uh, recollect all the activities that they have done, ask them if they enjoyed the session uh, and then you give them the reflection notebook where they will be expressing their last session, sorry the entire session in it through pictures and a few words. So this is the final session, session 3 uh, for module 3, 8th grade. Thank you.